Ain't no half step and one mark is Jay live from the den of legacy internet radio. Thank y'all for rocking with us. Y'all rock with us. We are rolling with y'all as we progress throughout the night. It's time for me to turn the mic over, at least for this segment, to my brother, Mr. 3375. Oh. He's taking us in a walk through the Sham Pippa room where we got Lava lamps. You see the lava lamps back there. Yeah, you see, see my lava lamps you see back the lava there. Lamps back I, there. Stre- I was stretched <laughs> out back there. <laughs> you, know what really? I mean? you see, you know, that's the Shan Pipple Room. That's what we that do. We, that we name specifically, and of course, Facebook Live gets to see the lava lamps, and they get to see uh, all of the fun stuff that we have live in the den. Mister Thirty Three Seventy Five, the con is yours, as they say on Star Trek. Mm-hmm. So I want to know, well, all this news that's been going on. What happened to the investigation of Sheila Salam? The judge they found in the river. Yeah. Now they're talking about it, it's a suicide, right. but she was found floating down the river. Right. What's up with that? I don't know. I, that's the story. They say she committed suicide. They say it was suicide. Yeah. She yeah. a judge. <laughs> but you do know that that same week, a judge in Chicago was killed outside the house, yep. allegedly yep. trying to save his girlfriend from getting that ass whooped. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. From some. Assailant. Yep. Yep. The first thing came to mind was she a judge. Yeah. And if I was a judge, I ain't think about killing myself right. if I was a judge. So I just put myself in right in that mindset. Like to be a judge, think about it. She wasn't no nine to five or uh, how Gorilla Monsoon used to say, she wasn't a hammer, e- ham and egger. No, that was, uh, that was Bobby the Bobby Heen. Bobby Heen. Yeah. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby <Yeah. Heen. laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, being a judge, is, being, is, yeah, she, she wasn't punching no clock. Being a judge is a pretty big fucking possibility, you know? You're just going to go ahead and say that, huh? <laughs> I'm just, just to put You know he drops at least one every oh, time he yeah, says yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, if I'm a judge and I did everything to get into this position to be a judge, I don't care what's going on bad in my life. Right. You know, I'm not killing myself. NFL coaches don't even do that. Right. You know? they, they, they stress. And they stressed out. To it. So a, I know a judge ain't just throwing herself in the well, river. I not like her floating down the river. Like, in, in a jump. Like somebody somewhere would have seen her jump or something. Right. In a judge. You know what I'm saying? And like, people say it's conspiracy or we reaching. And, uh, just think about I, what I just I, said. I, I, a judge. I, I don't know. I, honestly, surprisingly enough, this was a story that. I, I didn't spend a lot of time, you know, watching the story. Shout out to my brother Solo from All Throttle Radios checking us out. Uh and our brother Coach Ship, the Capital City Reapers is checking us out. Shout out to y'all fellas. I, I just didn't pay a lot of attention to the story. Right. So honestly, I don't really have a lot to 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 give. Like I, I know about her, you know. I, I would like to know what the autopsy said. It probably said nothing, which is the reason why mm-hmm. they're deeming it. A suicide, right? But we um, do find it suspicious. Like, there's no well, without a doubt. I, I, I'm not gonna say because she's a judge that is the reason why she could not have committed suicide. Because there has been some precedent for judges, you know, taking their own lives. But Damn, it's usually it's, it's, it's usually, you know, because they got some sort of nefarious and some sort of crooked stuff oh. going on with them, and so it's usually something like that, Grizz. So. I, I honestly I, I don't know. I also know that depression is real and you know, I, I've True. you know, I, I I've I've talked to people who have thought about doing that mm-hmm. and you know, I I've learned more right. about it. Right. You know, I, I have my feelings about it, you know, suicide, but I've learned more about it that has made me a little bit more sensitive to folks who who decide to make that decision. Mm-hmm. Um having said that and it's the realest thing I'm going to say on this piece. You never, ever, ever know what a person is going through unless you them. Right. The person that you see every day that's grinning and smiling and having a great time and just, you know, the life of the party and, and all of that kind of stuff, oftentimes are the ones that are in the most pain. You know what I'm saying? And the person who has the greatest life to those on the outside. Right. Oftentimes, the ones that are the most like who of us, who amongst us thought that Michael Jackson had to take medicine to go to sleep? 
Right. Who, yeah. who, who amongst us thought that Prince was doing the kind of drugs that he was doing? Cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Right. Who amongst us we thought that, James you know, who, who amongst us thought <laughs> that, you know, with one of the biggest rock songs in the history of rock music, Kurt Cobain would take a shotgun and blow his own head right. clean off. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, who, who amongst us would have thought that these people were struggling? Right. True. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I don't know, Mr. 3375, what this woman's deal was. Right. If I, I, I'm not going to be that dude that says, well, if they say she killed herself, then she wants to kill herself. I'm not going to be that guy <laughs> yeah, either. Hold on. You that impression again. <laughs> I'm not going to be that guy either. Hell like, of an impression, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Did I sound white? Yeah. <laughs> Or did I sound black? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a fool. <laughs> yeah, you know, shout out to the folks that was listening to the last Sweet. segment. And if you don't know why I made that joke, then you should be listening to you the whole damn been show. The whole show. Uh, but yeah, so I, I, I got, I got nothing. Right. I got, I got nothing. What you got joy. She ain't kill herself. She ain't kill herself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she said that joint quiet. Yeah. Conspiracy. All, all my A, I, I just cold switched that quick. Um, yeah, she did. She, all did. That she a, cold cased it. I did. Yeah. All that AAVE just came out. Mm. Um, she didn't kill herself. There's no way. One, everything that she had, she was prominent and she was known for what she was trying to accomplish mm-hmm. within that. Right. Not many people, I'm not going to say all. Not many people, when they have all those things coming up against them, are going to go, okay, I'm, I'm saving so many lives, let me go. That doesn't readily happen all the time. I'm not saying that it's never happened because I lost my coach right. in October due to suicide. Okay. Mm. So, okay. and nobody knew it was coming because he helped so many people as well. Right. Right. So, um, Terry coach, says exactly who knows about. what others are going through. Right. Uh, Laurel right. says yeah. so true. Right. So uh, so we're getting some uh, we getting some cosigns from our sisters. Right. So I don't. She has so many things that were, that she was trying to accomplish. So it's way more suspicious than people right. are giving their credence. Right. And her husband himself was like, "No, yeah, there's Lord, no way this happened." Lord, she didn't kill herself. Laura just said um, one of her friends' sons just committed suicide. Sometimes it's in the meds. I yeah. agree with that. Yeah, because yeah. 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 you know the first thing. Like if a kid, especially when it comes to kids they and they acting crazy, away. they always trying to throw meds. Yeah, they pull it away. On the kids and, and all kids know. don't need to be on meds. No, like <laughs> you know all, what I'm saying? Yeah, and then uh, what's the thing about this is like with kids and meds, like kids' brains ain't even properly fun. My my brain ain't properly start functioning until about 25. Right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So when you when you giving them something foreign into your body like right. that, mm-hmm. and, and you can't, uh, you know speak to what what it's doing to you because your brain is just forming so right. but they so quick to they you know throw a p- throw a quick solution that stuff right drug right. companies are right. that is mm-hmm. well you know there's there's no money in treating uh, curing anything right no. you know dr sabi said that he cured aids and everything else and notice what happened to him he gone you know what I'm yeah, saying? So this, I ain't even know who you right. talking about. Yeah, who said well, that? Well, well, look, look I got to read it you know, up. Yeah, lock up, look, look up Dr. Sebi. S-E-B-I. S-E-B-I. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. But, I mean, the reality is you're going to give meds because meds is what they can utilize to keep you coming. It's a drug. That's right. the whole essence. This is why some, this why some folk drink alcohol right. or mm-hmm. some folks smoke marijuana or some folks do lines of coke or shoot up in their arm. Right. It's bad as those vices are depending on your opinion of them right uh that's got what a they, demand that's what they do <laughs> right, yeah exactly right. that's that's they know it's a demand yeah right so if donald trump stay another year boo what if donald trump stay <laughs> for the rest of the year which country do you think gonna throw a bomb over here for? Oh <laughs> Lord, God, for real? so fatalistic. Yeah. Which, God, yeah. <laughs> which, which country gonna throw a bomb to the United States? If, if he, so, so you right. say, uh, are you saying that is in regards to he's going to cause a war? Yeah, he's or, going to cause a war. Or after he's gone, he didn't did, he gonna do something? Piss somebody off. We gonna get rid of them, and for them, they gonna get back at us. And are you no, saying why he's, he's gonna still get us president? The war? Because if we don't, I believe, in my opinion, mm. if he's still president. It, in for the rest of the this year in January, somebody we'll be in a wanted, war. yeah, we was going to be in the war. But tonight in six at world, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and, and that's very well may may happen. The thing is, is is how do we get on that train? Right. You know, when Barack was trying to pull us out of all of these, you know, tangled weaves and that we 
that we've, and it's not just some in our lifetime, like the U.S. has had a base in the Philippines since the early 18, late 1890s, right. you know, before any of us was around. And so why is he reaching out to the Philippines? I ain't heard nothing about the Philippines since the dude and the chick with the shoes. Right. Uh, that, that ripped everybody off. Uh, Mel DeMarcus. Yeah, like. Yeah. Why do I know that? Because <laughs> we, I mean, that's the only thing we, you know, shout out to the Filipinos, the Manny Pacquiao's of the world. Mel but DeMarcos. I'm just saying, like. But, but why do I know that? But I, because I remember Yeah, that. right. But right, other right. like, why, so, yeah, I see, like, I think what's, what Trump just, he's a, He's he's a D. He's a mm -hmm. y'all know. What I mean. Like he's right. a he, he's a that t that kind of guy, and he's he pissed he pissed off all our allies. Like I think Australia has been an ally of us ever since whatever. Right. And first day he get in there, he get the phone call. He like yo, <laughs> Australia, you know. Yeah, I mean you know when, when you, you know when you piss off Canada. Yeah, right. Right. like they, they gotta you be. Gotta go out of your way. Right. You gotta go out of your on way on day one. <laughs> it's not like a week day one. But right. here's the thing with the history of how this stuff works, right? Like the United States, like this is our country, so they tell us we're not supposed to say anything bad about the country, but. If your cousin is acting a damn fool, you call Don't your cousin out. Or if your brother's acting up, you call your brother right. out. And you say it to him. I'm an American, so I get to say it to America. You are sometimes acting a damn fool. And like it's a historical thing. Like with the Japanese, right? Mm -hmm. Let's 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 do a little history lesson, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. With the Japanese, everybody wants to talk about how the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, Harbor. Right. right, which is what led the United States to go to, to war, war right? Right, right? But what they don't tell you is the Japanese told America, stay the hell out of our water. Mm -hmm. And it had nothing to do with Pearl Harbor. It had to do with the United States moving military ships yep. into Japanese waters. Yep. And the Japanese said, if y'all keep coming over here, we're going to bomb y'all. Right. And America said, we don't no, care. Yeah. We <laughs> America. We're yeah. going to do it anyway. Yeah. And, 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 and because Japan, Japan said what they had to do, that's what ended up happening. Yep. You know, so this is what America does. Now, back to the original question. Mm. Donald Trump, are we going to go to war? We're not going to go to war with Russia. Right. We're not. Because if, we go to, because if we go to war with Russia, that would be literally the end of the yeah, world. In the world yeah. And nobody wants that. Right. Right. Russia don't want it with us, right. and we don't want it with Russia. Right. If, and, 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 and people our age, we only really remember the Cold War. Right. Mm -hmm. You Gorbachev. know what I mean? We remember Gorbachev yeah. and Mr. Gorbachev, tear yeah. down <laughs> that wall. Like we, rem we remember Marcus that from the, the impressions 80s. Tonight, we, right? we, we remember that from the <laughs> 80s. But what we don't remember, because we may not be old enough unless we study the history, but Russia is one of our longest, strongest allies. Right. We've been allies with Russia. Been fighting with them. We've been, we've been fighting like with Cain them, but you know what I'm saying. But, but we ain't killed them. Right. Exactly. <laughs> we ain't killed them. So it's not going to be Russia because it's not going to benefit anybody. And with all the money that the Trump family has tied up, like you heard the thing with the Kushner sister that came mm -hmm. out over the last couple of days, how she over there uh, in China giving people you know visas, uh, visas right. so that she can get her money to build where in my hometown of Jersey City, New Shit. Jersey. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we don't want it with China, and we don't want it with Russia, and right. they don't want it with us. With us. Right. North Korea, on the other hand, they don't get if it's going, he don't care. He's looking for anybody to fight with. He he don't care. You know what I'm saying? And I, my fear is, we are gonna go to war. It's probably gonna be North Korea. Mm -hmm. But my fear is, they share land, physical land, with, Russia. with, South, Korea. with South Korea. Right. Mm -hmm. With South Korea. South Korea. And South Korea is one of our strongest allies. Mm -hmm. Right. And so if we got to go over there and drop one of those A-bomb Japan-style bombs on them, mm -hmm. mm. it's going to be some casualties on our allies, yeah. which is why we don't want it with North Korea. And we have a – don't we have a, a – um Station? We got a lot in South Korea. Okay. Yeah. My yeah. my uncle is stationed in South Korea okay. right now. I got a cousin. Oh, yeah. I got a cousin that came home a few months ago mm -hmm. after having spent a few years in South Korea. It was cool too because I used to be able to boast. Legacy in that radio got listeners oh, right. all around the world. <laughs> right. We got listeners in South Korea. Because I had a cousin right. who right. would pull it up and actually listen from South but Korea. Yeah, but it, that, that's that's my my thought is. You know, I think we're being a little bit overzealous worrying about war. At the end of the day, if there's really going to be a legitimate war, it's going to still be in the Middle East. And think right? about it's it. It's going to still be in the Middle East. When them generals come in that day 
and because you know Trump, when he see when you know Trump, Trump is a product of the '80s. He, mm-hmm. he like to see things go boom. Yeah, he 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 all he <laughs> get hawked up Hulkamania style because he see he see big bad Kim Jong Il. He like, he's, like, he's like Cartman. Kim Jong Il. <laughs> he is. Kim Jong Il. But he probably had a little bit that was likable about him. Like, he's like, like uh, you know, he just get, he's like, like yeah yeah go ahead piss me off. Go ahead, keep coming, keep coming, and then finally, somebody, the, the the real adults in the room, aka the generals, come in and say, "Donald, come in. Let me have a conversation. You, you know, don't, you don't want him. You know who Donald Trump is? Uh-huh. Donald Trump is Biff from Back to the Back Future. Back to yeah. the Future. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Back to the Future too? Yes. Yeah. With, with like when he had the big old right. mansion and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Donald Trump is Biff. You just gotta <laughs> grab him to the side and be yeah. like, "Look, let, let me let me explain something to you." You don't want it with them because we don't know what they gonna do. Right. We don't know what they got. That's right. the, that's an, another thing. That's that's and that's probably what's getting Trump to this line right now is that he don't know what they got. Right. They keep you know lobbing off missiles and they keep and failing. they keep failing. Right. Mm-hmm. But they could have that could be a that could be like you yeah, know a switch. dummy a right. trick. Exactly. Like, they could be like, yeah, we're going to shoot this off and let, and I don't know, but this is my foreign like, oh, accent. You know what, though? <laughs> but see, here's the thing that, um, here's the thing that I honestly know that the American leadership mm-hmm. always benefits from the fear of the American people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because we always act based upon what could happen. Yeah. Like the whole thing with 9-11, we thought the big bad Muslim was coming here. Mm. Right. Like the whole thing with the Black Panther Party, we thought the big bad black person was about to take over because Mm -hmm. they was walking around with guns. Mm -hmm. And so the Mulford Act of 1967 happened that said that you can't just walk around with your guns. That shit was for black people Yeah. Yeah. because of the Black Panthers. Right. Like we always act off of being scared. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the reality is... And it's some real shit too. Mm-hmm. I'm more afraid of the crazy white boy at the movie theater than I am of some Muslim person yeah. blowing me up at the damn farmers market. Right. I just went to the movies too. You know what I'm saying? I like, I mean, a- like ask that. the people who went to see <laughs> Batman in Colorado. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we had some like twenty something school shootings. Right. You know what I mean? So Once every once in a blue moon, we get a shooting, mm-hmm. and it's an American. Mm-hmm. It's not always a white American. Sometimes black folk act a damn fool. That's right. But it's not always a Muslim. Mm. And when we get these Muslims mm. that occasionally do something, if we map out the timing, the time frame, yeah. it's so rare on American soil right. that the fear that we've gotten because of 9-11 and other things that have happened before and since then, right. honestly, I think if we do go to war for real, it's going to be somewhere in the, in Middle, the Middle East. East. I, I just, we don't want it with Russia. We don't want it with China. Right. We can take South Korea, North Korea. We, we can. I don't think we're going to do it because they, they, they border an ally. Right. And to take them out, we got to, we, we, we you know, we'll, we'll have, too much, to, we'll too, have much, too much collateral yeah. damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Not too much You know, too much collateral damage. Yeah. But what do, what, do, what do bullies do, though? Bullies make an example out of people mm-hmm. who they can take advantage of yeah. so that everybody else can see so, it yeah, right. and be like, nah, which is the reason why we did what? We dropped that bomb on Syria. Right. Right. Because we wanted Iran, who sits right there, to be like, look, this could, this could be this, you. This, be, right. this, you. This, this, could, this could be you. Right. And so we go to war with a country that we can beat to make sure that everybody around knows. has more fear. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I got you. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do, right? But you know, that's, that that's fear, been going that on fear for years. Motion, it, it, it runs, it, it runs deep. It runs a lot. It, it, it's it's like you can control people once you get them scared of stuff. Because then once you get that emotional pull on them, mm-hmm. I remember when Trump got elected, and I look at my Facebook, and you would have thought Ku Klux Klan was in the, in the building. I was on Facebook going off. Yeah. Was yeah. wilding out. Yeah. Well, he ex- he he excited a base of white people who had not had an opportunity right. to be vocal to the, yeah. about the things that they wanted to be vocal about yeah. in a generation. Yeah. Because obviously you had Barack Obama, but even before that, you can say what you want, and it's crazy that you know while I still don't trust the things that George Bush did. Mm-hmm. 
you know, it, it's not like Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. He didn't have his base riled up, yeah. you know, like Donald Trump. Frothing, like, like, you know, frothing at the mouth yeah. like Donald Trump. And I, I got to be honest with you, I, I can't, historically, the last president that I could think of mm-hmm. who really had that part of the country super riled up was probably Reagan. Richard Nixon. Nixon. Yeah. It was probably Nixon. Oh, because what Nixon did, and if you go and you do some homework, there's a letter that Nixon put out. I was going to talk about it later on, but mm. I don't know that we're going to have time to do that. Right. But there's a letter Southern that Nixon strategy. put, it's about the Southern strategy, mm. where, you know, Lee Atwater, and, and see, there's another history lesson. You, you always learn something when you listen to Ain't No Ask That with Mark right. J. <laughs> because Grizzly is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant mm. man who can talk to you about the Southern strategy and I can finish it. Mm. Basically, we talk about 1959. Mm. 1959, when Richard Nixon hadn't figured out that if you're a racist asshole white guy, mm-hmm. you can get racist asshole white guys to, to vote do for whatever you, you right. want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Nixon had the misfortune of just being a Republican. Right. And a Republican in them days wasn't necessarily the racist asshole right. white guys. Right. Mm-hmm. What Republicans were in those days were people who just happened to be conservative. Black people are conservative by nature, which is the reason why we voted Republican Mm -hmm. until the Mm mid-60s. So here we go with this. In 1959, Richard Nixon was saying things like, we shouldn't be treating people differently based upon what their race. He did say that. That's not right. That's not right. You know, they're not inferior because they're black. This is some stuff you can look up. Don't take my word for this. Look this up. Right. But when he lost to, to Kennedy, it was such a blow to him that he had to figure out how he could win. Mm-hmm. This is 1960. Right. So 1968, he adopted the, the, the Southern strategy. Right. The Southern strategy, as told by Lee Atwater to a whole room full of Dixiecrats, Democrats, mm-hmm. From the South, well, yeah, to who switched like over? <laughs> who switched? O- who, sw- who switched over? Because Kennedy and Johnson was spending was too much time t- helping attention. out them black people. Yeah. Right. So those people who were natural Democrats adopted Flip. and flipped to the Southern strategy, and Richard Nixon was the first to do it. Right. How they're saying fall. things like in the fifties, you can't call them N word. That's not cool no more. So you got to say things like urban neighborhoods, you know what I mean? So that it's understood, but it's not the same. We talking about dog whistles. Mm -hmm. We talking about, you know, alluding to things as opposed to just saying them, Mm -hmm. which is what's going on right now. And it's some real shit, man. That's right. It's some real shit. I know this ain't what you were supposed to be talking about. I I get on a tangent. (laughs) Good tangent, though, bro. I get get, get, on a tangent. Mr. 3375, what's that? Trump's crazy, though. Cool. cool. Yeah, Trump. Well, this this is the reason why Richard Nixon. Nixon, (laughs) Well, back to the original point. Richard Nixon is... Donald Trump's political father. Yeah, right. yeah. Politically, that's his political link. Li- li- yeah. Nixon part two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, right. it's, not, it's not it's not Ronald Andy Reagan. Andrew Jackson. No, he's definitely not. Right. not yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew, Andrew Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, yeah, his that's his idol, he and he got Andrew no Jackson. qualms Nothing. about being open oh, about, about saying, saying a man who made his money off of slavery, off of slavery <laughs> is his idol. Yeah, yep. is the dude that he said. Would have done something about the Civil War. 16 mm. years after he died. <laughs> he said that he was mad about it. <laughs> Andrew Jackson. Like, come on, man. Sla- uh, slaves on, and man. Indians. <laughs> let me get, let me get, let me, let me get some comments so in because I, I'll go on a rant before the rant. The next thing you know, the time <laughs> We're still in the Sharon Pippa room, right? Uh, yeah, we're still in Sharon yeah, Pippa room. I'm sorry, Mr. 375. <laughs> Laurel says her daughter's doctor's son was, her daughter's, Doctor's son was the one who shot up the church in Colorado. Mm. Lived there in Columbine. You know, you talking about uh, Dylan Klebold? Dylan and, Roof. And, and, no, no, Dylan Roof was South Carolina Talk last year. Dylan yeah. Klebold, Harris, Harris and Klebold, right. and, 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 uh, and Columbine. Yeah, April mm, of mm, 1999. 98, yeah. April 19th, 1999. Yeah. I think that was the date, or oh, somewhere close. Um, Laurel continues, the media loves fear. It runs everything. The stock market, yet yeah, um, Trump just screwed all the white people who voted for him. And how crazy is that? We're I gonna love talk, her. We're going to we gonna, we gonna talk more about that <laughs> right. in the next segment. So I know where you're going, and I'm coming there with you. Right. This is 3375. Right, I'm off my soapbox. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun. I'm off my soapbox. A little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. 
All right. I need to stand on it. I'm sure. We're going to. I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> play off the Cosby show a different world right now. All right. All right. So, in 2017, mm. what do you think Vanessa, what her job career is going to wow. be? Wow. She's what somewhere her, getting on somebody's nerves. What's her job career? Let, let, what is you, the, I want to say, am I even like allowed in this conversation? Yes. <laughs> you, what is the, you go yes. first. You go first. You go first. What is, what is Denise? career in 2017 what you think she will be doing in 2017 denise would be Cree summer now yes (laughs) i I I follow Cree summer on instagram and Cree summer is like basically the womanness that i am that i aspire to be like she got her kid her kids are so woke she's woke her husband's woke everybody Everybody i need to get on this (laughs) i love like that would be like that would Denise would ended up being like her partner in crime, and even um, Lord, what is her what is her daughter's name? Zoe. 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 Yeah. Zoe is super woke, so it's like she would be along that vibe, I believe. Right. So who do you oh. think Vanessa would be? I Who's just thinking? watched a joint about her having <laughs> Who the, the, the video on Facebook, Big Fun with the, with the Baltimore, boys. Maryland. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not the best episode ever. Yeah. They went to see The Wretched. Yeah, the, the, yeah Big Fun with <laughs> The Wretched. I could not get the word out. <laughs> with The Wretched. <laughs> I just watched that. We've been looking for that guy for months. <laughs> <laughs> that was a it's, great episode. It's so fr- All right. It's so frustrating for me to watch The Cosby Show now. I almost got to like close one because yeah, you so, wonder like so what's i don't see bill cosby right. i can watch i can look at the rest of them but <laughs> i had to squeeze it i didn't know that was still right. on tv it is not it just came it just came back it just, just came back it just came back okay. 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 so it's hard for me to watch now because yeah. that was my dad growing up now you see all this stuff i'm like uh like, but yeah. i always see it for claire so claire is like With her that me self. side of the mom that i want to be she's still fine she's still fine to date to this day she's still fine so her yelling at vanessa yeah, when they went to Baltimore. Big five for, yeah. in the, with the wretched. The wretched. That's wretched. A, for me, that's a top five. Yeah. Cop, oh, cop that's the episode. funniest thing All I've day. ever seen. Like, don't you talk to me. Don't you talk to me when I'm asking you a question. <laughs> 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 you know. then, I feel like and, now. And look, what about would, when she said Bill Cosby stood there and jumped and he said, that's how far I will have to be for Vanessa when yeah. she comes in. Yeah. <laughs> when he jumped. <laughs> I, have a, I would not be surprised if Vanessa ended up being a youth counselor. Youth counselor. Okay. Just solely okay. off of the foolishness she did. She's like, I, I, I think I'll be able to reach the kids. I'll be able to reach the children. Yeah, okay. I, I think. Well, yeah. I, I, for me, Sandra is somewhere. Um, she's she's probably teaching. Sandra right. is yeah. a teacher somewhere. Yeah. So you think she would left being a doctor to become a teacher? Yeah, Sandra's teaching. I mean, she might be teaching in law school, med school, but and I think she's, she, she's, teach, she's teaching somewhere. I think she don't like Is she still married two. to the dude? Yeah, I think she don't like husband number two. Nah, she, think, yeah, she left Elvin. <laughs> She, yeah, she, she left Melvin before yeah, the left. show was over. So, so we all agree Elvin yeah. committed suicide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he committed so career suicide. Elvin suicide. I don't think he, El- yeah. Actually, I saw Elvin on another TV show, and uh, Elvin looked like he ate the 80s Elvin. So Sandra's teaching. Did, Elvin did, did, ain't Denise, have a pair. Denise, Denise, is, Denise is working in a homeless shelter, right. looking like one of the people that's yeah, at the got homeless a, shelter. And she got a bike, too. She, she a rides bike. a bicycle yes, to, yeah. to work. Yeah. Uh, Theo is still doing what he was he doing when he last saw him. Yeah. He's, still, he's still a counselor. Yeah. Um, is he doing poetry? Rudy. It, it, well, let me get to Vanessa first. Okay. Van, Vanessa is, uh, she is, Vanessa's stay-at-home mom, because Dabness, Bricky, yeah. uh, Dabness, <laughs> Bricky, Dabness. Dab, Dabness, Bricky, Dabness, Bricky did well for himself. <laughs> And uh, you know Vanessa had about seven kids yeah. and whatnot, <laughs> and she she's a stay at home mom. Uh, Damn, you Rudy, took my job. Rudy, Rudy grew up to be a real life Mrs. Griswold yeah. from the Real World episode. <laughs> oh no, no! <laughs> Remember the Real World when she came down the stairs with, with, a, the, oh. with, the, with the little outfit yeah. and whatnot? When she owned the building that Theo was living in, yeah. in real, that's what Rudy wait, became. Wait, oh, I got a follow up question. It's not the same show, but it's the same concept. All right. Judy from Family Matters that went upstairs and never came back down. Never what happened to her? She, what became, happened? she became a porn star in real life. In she real did. Life. She did. Yeah, she was a real. Oh, I know that she was one. A, she was, yeah, yeah, she came to porn star. But I want to know like, what happened to her. Like, yeah, she literally went upstairs that was, and came back down. Something happened. Since we own that. Hey, look, since she, we own that. She fell into the TV like Poltergeist. She just crawled right on in. I was like, dang, remember that one episode with Judy? Right. 
<laughs> she never so came back that same. We all we all know what Cree Summer was gonna be. Um her her she's gonna be her character yeah. mm-hmm. on on different world. Yes. Yeah. So what about um Whitley? What did Whitley do? Whitley. What do you think she grew up to be? Because I'm still trying to figure out what part of Richmond, Virginia she she she. She oh, was she from, from Richmond. Yeah, yeah she's from. from Richmond, you know where you know where she was that from? Country, she was she from was from, she was from Carytown. <laughs> yeah, she's from the West End. From the she West End, yeah. yeah. She's from the West End. <laughs> she was from yeah, and I'm pretty sure Hillman was supposed to be Hampton. Yeah, mm. yeah. Hampton, uh, Hampton, and Howard. Yeah, Hampton and Howard. Yeah. yeah. So um so 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 what was Whitley? Yeah. Whitley. Uh, in 2017, yeah, I don't know. Whitley is it, Whit, Whitley is driving somebody crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> crazy. Her husband probably she she gonna be married, be her third she husband. So you think her? <laughs> so you think her and Dwayne Dwayne would have stayed married? No, they, no. Just, he would have got rid of her. Yeah, yeah, he, she she would have got rid of. Her. He would have went back to the Asian looking lady. <laughs> I nah. think they would have stayed together. I nah. think so. Nah. I see it for them. She would have nah. been married in 2017 three times. She'd be on her third. I think marriage. she she would eventually he would have stayed, become. He, would have, he only would have stayed with her if they had kids. But she, right. if, yeah. they but she, had, she, if they she, didn't, she, she wasn't gonna get it to him. Right. <laughs> only, yeah. The only way he stays with her is if if they had kids. Yeah. Right. So I think, think I see it for him. I she's think, annoying as shit. I think she yeah. would become. She would. She during those like transition stages. Because what that would make her like. It was the eighties. That'll make her in like her fifties now, right? Yeah. Right. I think she had to go yes. through that really super mm. annoying phase, and mm. then eventually she became. No, some of auntie. that should stay right. Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, because yeah. it's Whitley. So, but yeah. I think she finally figured out like how to hone it, and now she's the favorite auntie. But she like right. bringing Hell it out. No. <laughs> no, I think so. Like you think so? Nah. You, I think you think you think you thinking of Jaleesa? No, well, J- Jaleesa was dope. What do you think Jaleesa would have still been married to Colonel? Probably, yeah, so. yeah, Probably. yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably. That's for life. That was, too, yeah. that was love. That was for life. Yeah. 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 So you don't think Sinbad tried to creep back in? <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Sinbad <laughs> tried several. He still no. trying. Probably. probably. But Every time he says, "Like, when we was up," I was like, "No, him. you can't speak to me until you until you confirm that you made a movie called yeah. Shazam." I think. Kim, I think. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's a, right. You right. took it. There. <laughs> yes, sir. That's right. Shazam. Because you're not gonna tell me that is not. The, that is not Mandela effect. I right. I remember. I vividly remember the Mandela effect. Yeah, it was called the Mandela effect. Cause can't nobody find it. Can't nobody right. find it. Nobody can. You cannot find Shazam, and you cannot find the Tennessee Kid. You can't. And I used to watch them. Shazam. All, yeah, not Kazam, but Shaq. Oh, that was Shazam. I was going because right. I wrote because Kazam Shazam was bad. Shazam was played the genie. Yeah. Right. Shout yeah. out, shout out yeah. to our brother Tavon who's checking that movie. Me out. too. Shout and, out. <laughs> Shout out, shout out to our brother Tavon for my guy something no. to say on Saturday. What's shout up, out Tavon? The Mandela effect is some people believe that Nelson Mandela died in the nineties. So when he died a few years ago, they're uh-huh. like, "What are you talking about? Who he the fuck was died. that?" It was some people. It was like some people that were like, "Follow him." <laughs> it was like some people. <laughs> I even t- hear it. I'm gonna get a tip yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Get a but it was job. some people that like truly believed that in Africa, like that saw him, but like, "Oh, he died in the nineties. So when he died so, yeah, a few no. years ago, they were like, "He's already dead." So that's essentially right. what the Mandela effect. Like something happening that you vividly recall that allegedly did not happen. So that's right. why a lot of people say, "We've seen the movie Shazam. We've seen the movie Tennessee Kid." And Sinbad himself is like, those movies don't exist, guys. Like, why are you trolling me, Sinbad? Yeah, right. He, right. He, he messing with you. He right. messing with you. Why are you trolling I me? Like, you go, you go to his Wikipedia right. and need one of the movies there. Shout out to our brother Hakeem. Our brother Maybe Hakeem. at the end of the film, it's a snuff a, film. And right. at the end of the film, <laughs> right. somebody right. literally so, gets snuffed on. So you think Kim would have stayed a doctor? Oh, yeah. You know, because yeah. her family would have made, even yeah. if she Who? walked to her Kim. family, would have still Kim, made her, her little be a chocolate yeah. self in different yeah. world. Because she yeah. did everything. The little, her daddy the little cute chocolate. <laughs> on oh, you world. talking about Vanessa's friend? No, 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 no. A different world. We're in a different world, world now. Oh, you know, Kim, yeah. yeah, yeah. The little short Kim. Yeah, the little chocolate ah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. She would yeah. be a doctor. She, be, she, she was, she was my, she was my she, one. She was yeah. crush. Yeah. Yeah. crush. I, yeah, I was. Because she was so, she was sweet little girl. She was, next she door was my, type. she was my until, until Lena James. That, yeah. that damn oh, Jada Pink. Oh, Jada Pink came on. And that was my next one. Lena James, boy. Lord. Lena James. When did she grow up to be? What, what is her career? Oh, my God. <laughs> what is her career? I, I ain't even going to stay with this one. That's the first time most of us seen Jada Pink. I, yeah, was, I, was, like, I was in love immediately. Yeah, immediately. Yeah. Just the whole swag I was and everything. Oh, yeah. Immediately. Yeah. I'm trying to thank the girl name because she was, she, was, she was a dancer 
But she won't really had a prominent role on the show, but she was always on I know that. who you're talking about. She was, yeah, she was a comedian. I think she, she was yeah. a comedian. The one, that, the one that went through the domestic violence Yeah, thing. she was yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. She was sick. Yeah. I want she would be with me in 2017. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, she was thick. Nah, so I'd, I, I'd have to have Kim right. or Lena James, boy. Chocolate. Or, 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 or that's a hell of a college. Earth. If that yeah. you think about, it, if that but was you know, your yard, you know they um, they <laughs> spinning <laughs> off uh, they spinning off blackish, and they doing the same yeah. type. Yeah, of yeah, heard about, yeah, heard about that. I heard about that. Yeah, Zoe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what's up. Do y'all think Lamont would have took over the family business and still doing junk? <laughs> you think he'll nah, still be in the junk nope. him, him, him and Julio Nope, <laughs> nah. nope. 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 For nope. them to be doing that Lamar was getting a lot of action hey, though. Rest in peace dad Get the shit out of him <laughs> hey, hey look They, they moved to Tijuana <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> think about they, it. Hey, look, they was always going down, yeah. man. You know right. what I mean? Think think about, think about <laughs> back in the seventies, if you was getting any action in that house, coming back with Lamont Sanford, like, yeah. <laughs> what kind of woman are you? Yeah. Like, you. I'm gonna tell you, the best, the best, the best, the best, the but you know right. what? You some coming the, to a junkyard some, to go get it on? Some of the best episodes was the Grady episodes, like yeah. when, when they came yeah, home, classic. when uh-huh. Lamont was in that sling, yeah. and they came home, and he was. Come, had to come through the window, right. and Grady is standing there with the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? What's your father's Grady? name? Grady, <laughs> that's not your name. <laughs> yo, yo. What's your father's that's name? Your, that's oh, that was 40 oh, something. Oh, my God. 45 Grady. years old. I mean, I'm going to tell you something, old. Grizz. Uh, to this day, every I stop. time I see that, I, stop I laugh. Now, yeah. I, 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 hey, now, I'm going to tell you something there. Most folks don't believe me when I tell them. Because I had somebody very close and special to me who didn't believe me until I had to show them that Grady had his own show. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. On yeah. NBC. Yeah. 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 Grady. And, 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 it, it and it was I'm called man. Grady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Simply put. And, and I got yeah. one more for you. Off. Do you know who played his son-in-law? Is it Gary Coleman? <laughs> <laughs> Name out. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to think of Paul Webster. Son in law, man. <laughs> that Who is son, that? Um, son in law on the Grady. I have no idea. No, nobody. Uh, Joe, Joe Papa Pope Morton. Yeah. Mm. Played his son in law. Wow. Get out. And I, I got would... and I got one more for you. Oh. Who played Damn, Joe Mark, Papa Pope's son in law, Grady's grandson? Hey, Wood. Hey, 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 Nelson. Oh, Nelson. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Dwayne from What's Happening. Yes, sir. Hey, Yo, hey, hey. Cool. I would need Joe Morton to walk around just, just monologue my whole monologue life. Monologue your yeah. life. Yeah. My whole life. Yeah. yeah. It'll be my perfect. Whole life. It'll be I perfect. Just need, I don't need you to do anything else. Wow. But make sure you got to get wine, though. You have right. to. You got to get wine. Wine and popcorn. Right. <laughs> hey, look, what combination? Just, yes. just, just don't send no seven heads to his house. Right. At all. Eleven pounds. At all. <laughs> right. Right. At all. And the last, the last one is this. Uh, we know um, Good Times was a spinoff of Mod. Yes. Mm-hmm. What was James? Yeah. Mod or All in the Family? I thought it was it All in the Family. Was, no, the Jefferson. Oh, Jefferson. Right, right, right. Jefferson's right. was All in the Family. Right. So, 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 yeah. What Ma- was James' okay. name? That's well, Mod because it wasn't James. It's too easy. So let I know try. you know. Yeah, of course. I, I know you know. I I yeah. That's the third one. I don't know. I don't yeah. know either. It, but I would love for. Every time I walk in the room, for somebody, here comes Joy. Like, <laughs> right. And then there's Bob. Every time she walks in the room, like a small walk. <laughs> Every single time, it was like a, let but, me turn this corner. Right. We're walking his, this hallway. It was his middle name. I'll give, give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. What is James's father's name on Good Times? Oh, damn. God, I just saw that episode. <laughs> James's too. father's right, name right. on exactly. Good Times, and it's Why his did middle he... name. <laughs> and it's his middle name. James's father's yeah. name on Good Times is what Earl? James's original name was on right. Mars. You say and Then Earl? they switched it to his middle name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they switched. It. It, it, was Henry. Earl it was Henry. It was Henry. <laughs> Henry. It was Henry. It was Henry. Henry. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So they they definitely <laughs> switched that. So yeah, Earl hey, just fits. It was funny, and it and I was watching Mars. I That's what brought why. it up because uh, I Florida kept Maude saying, in a "Well, Henry." I was like, "Who the hell is Henry?" I thought Henry was Maude's husband. <laughs> nah, that's Stanley. Stan, yeah, yeah. Stanley. Maude was such yeah, that a, was a dope cool, that was a cool show. show. I'm gonna tell you something. Show. I'm gonna tell you something. So I'm gonna tell you something about Maude. Mm-hmm. Maude was so far ahead it of his son because yeah. Maude was a bra yeah. burning liberal yep. fierce chick. Abortion. Right. Abortion. She had an abortion at fifty. Yeah, I remember that. She got pregnant. 
and had the abortion on the show at fifty. At yep. fifty, yeah. They, they How did they get that? away with that? Because they, I mean, you know, that, man, it was the seventies, <laughs> right? It was, it was the seventies. I mean, just think about well, it. Nobody, could you well, get, nobody come on that? Could you actually right. even utter the script for that show right. on any other major I got, networks I got, I got, in two thousand seven? I got one name for you. Murphy Brown too. So it was like, I got one name for you. What's that? Uh, what's the old dude? Norman Lear. Norman Lear. Yeah. yeah. No, Norman I love Lear, that guy. Norman Lear, yeah. Norman Lear can do whatever you yeah. want. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, I love that guy. I though. listen to a lot of podcasts, and I made sure I listened to the podcast about family. quick his stuff. Yeah. Quick question. Yeah. Love, quick question. I love Norman. Who is your favorite character on the Golden Girls? That's easy. Um, it man, ain't easy. Yeah. Not for me. I'm that, sarcastic. Uh, Maz is Sophia. I'm sarcastic. That's, that's so it's, it's, I'd probably have to go with Dorothy. Dorothy. Mas was Sophia. Who's Ruth McCallahan? I just don't know her that character was, um, name. Yeah. Ma- Ma- is um, it? Dor- ah. um, oh, she- Sophie. Daphne? <sighs> Can't even think. Daphne. Come on, somebody yeah, please got, look that up. Please, please, please. Ru- Ru- somebody fit. Ruth McCallahan. I the, know the her real one. name. Oh, Ruth McCallahan. What's yeah. her what? What's, What's her, her name on the Golden show? Girls? Oh, that's Blanche. 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 Yeah, yeah, I will have yeah. I will have Blanche because if I'm if I'm in my golden years. Yeah. If I'm in my golden years. I got I got giving it up. Since we talking about the Golden Girls, do y'all know that the Golden Girls had a spinoff? Mama's family, won't it? Nope. No, no, no. That it was, was called the, off of a carbonet. It so. was called the Golden Palace. Really? Yeah, oh. I remember that. The final Darn. episode saw Dorothy finally get married mm-hmm. because uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, B. Arthur wanted to leave the show. Right. She didn't want to do it no more, right. so they had to figure out a way to keep it going. Right. So they 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 ran a hotel, and I remember that. Uh, joint Cheech now. Marin, yeah, and wow. Don Cheadle. I remember yeah. that. We're yeah. on that joint. Yep. Don <laughs> Cheadle, you going back? <laughs> yep. yeah. Condoms. Sweet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. I did not get into the Golden Girls until like. Ain't no half yeah, stepping later. with Mark and Jay. Y'all going deep. Because I'm over here like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Ain't no ass stuff with Marcus J. Live from the Dead Legacy of the Radio. We gonna take a break, and when we, we lit. come back, yeah, we, we, we when we come we, when we come back, we gonna have a little fun with the President of the United States. Sound good to me. And nice. also, I'm gonna ask a question about a story that really, really, really pissed me off, in Penn State. And I'm gonna ask a question about a place that many of us spend <laughs> a lot of time. On Sundays, Scripture. ain't no half step with Mark and Jay live from the Den Legacy Internet Radio. We'll be back in a few. We're gonna take this break. See you guys in a few. <laughs> 